I'm going to be teaching you how to make make a reset button. As you can see, I have one right here. If you press it, it kills you. Um, just like it does in when you use the normal reset button. So, first you're going to want to go to start a GUI and insert a screen GUI. Name it reset GUI. Then you're going to want to insert a text button. Drag the text button where you want to be, uh, where you want the reset button to be. I'm going to have it about there. Then you can decorate the text button as much as you want. Let's say reset. So first you're going to want to go to the background color. I'm going to make it red. You can make it whatever color you want. This is all, all your, your, your thing. So you can do whatever you want. Reset. I'm going to put the text to reset. Make sure you have the properties, by the way. I'm editing the properties, so make sure you have the Explorer and properties, which you can open in the View tab. And then text scale is equal to true. Make the text color white. And, um, and then I'm going to make it bold. There we go. It should be a good reset button. Now I'm just going to roundify it. This is a little plugin I have. You do not need to do this. It's just a little thing I like to do. It makes it look a little better. Now you want to go to that reset button and insert a local script. Um, take it. Um, then you want to do script dot parent dot mouse button one click connect function Now you want to do game dot players dot local player dot character dot humanoid humanoid okay humanoid dot health is equal to zero. Now this all this should do is when the button is pressed it should just kill them. Let's see, will it kill us right when the button is pressed? Okay, we're gonna press the reset button, and as you can see, it just kills us like just like that. Um, you can like it's basically the exact same thing as the reset. Um, thank you for using this tutorial. Have a good day and peace. Bye.